Welcome, you crazy Ibanez fans. Ibanez AZ, now in seven strings. Video done. It's pretty much the same damn thing. Even the same damn flat, sunbursty color, which isn't my favorite of the AZs, but there it is. Uh, two humbuckers, switch, 
five positions, switch gives it another five, 10 position mixy super mega switch. These two big, I don't like them on the AZ's knobs. The wiggly stick, which is capable of going a little bit up. On this one, there's the brand new AZ hmm, N something uh, with uh, Futura pickups instead of Hyperion's where it can't, it's, you know, can't go up. You don't, you only, only down wiggle. This is the typical AZ that you know, but in seven strings. So what has changed? Nothing, it's seven strings now, video done. <laughs> Okay, um, well, one thing has changed on the back right there. Instead of having those locking tuners where you screw from the top and that, that, that are self-locking kind of, uh, these have the typical screws from the back, which makes it a tiny bit heavier, but it's a seven string anyway, you know, it's a little bit heavier. So that is new on the AZs. They went with the traditional and their Gotos. Then we have the Aztec treated, uh, Dipped in camel poop, same lame joke. Uh, roasted maple neck with lumen lace on the sides. Beautiful neck with some cool grain in there. We, of course, have this Verjüngung, as we say in German. Everything is a little bit slim and slender for you to get up there. This is still a fiddly, bitless guitar. Uh, what else? Uh, there's no volute. It's an AZ like it used to be. And that even rhymes. I'm going to give you specs. Uh, Neck Oval C. Okay, well, the AZ had this super mega awesome neck, kind of like Fender went with the Ultras and did new neck shapes that are very nice and fast, and the AZ necks are some of the nicest necks on the planet. Now, if you add a seventh string, you don't just go in this direction. You don't just add a little bit of wood in this direction. You automatically, if you have a roundiness, will have to add some chunks. So it is a little bit more in your hand. Guess why? Because it's a seven string. If they added an eighth one, which would be ridiculous, you'd have even more in your hand because the number goes up. Uh, Bolton neck, Aztec wood, uh, it's oiled. We have 20.5 millimeters here, 22.5 millimeters thickness here. We have 648 millimeters there, uh, 47 millimeters here. 66 here, who cares? 24 of those wooden things. Uh, no, wooden, uh, the metal things. The metal things are uh, 24. Then uh, the fretboard is also Aztec roasted maple. Uh, jumbo stainless steel frets. Maybe that's where a little bit of the brightness comes from. I don't know, people say, what do, what do I know? Prestige fretage treatment. It's winter. And these came from Poland. They were sitting in a box and then they were in my house where it's warm and back and forth. They would have to be worked back a little bit on all the new Ibanezes. The frets are protruding just a little bit more than I would like it. So generally, yes, it has the beautiful prestige fret edge treatment, but the, the conditions did something to them. So there's that beautiful prestige fret edge treatment. Can't hold the guitar any longer. Uh, black dots, alder body, satin polyester, something, goto bridge, 10.5 millimeter, who can, black tusk, the uh, chrome things, Dynamix 10 switching, lumen lace, comes with 10 to 59, hard shell case included because it's a prestige model. Uh, clocking in at 2200 euro. Now to the sounds. I wish I could tell you what the sounds are, but I do not know. Uh, I mean, of course, I can look that up, but can you really remember? Okay, in this position, it's this pickup, and in this position, it's this pickup in parallel, and in blah, blah, blah. But to circumvent me having to remember it, I have my buddy Jason McNamara. Let me use his patented, I don't think it's patented, his brand new pickup generator system thingy. We're going to have that in the corner there, and every time I switch, you actually see what the pickups are. That system is amazing and he's working on that for many, many, many guitars. And if you're a video editor, you can actually purchase specific guitar models from him and use that for your videos. That's awesome. And he was very, very kind to let me proto testy type that. That's what we're doing. I think I know what's happening. So I'm gonna, in the, in the back position here, I think I'm in standard mode and that's like the other mode. So I'm gonna go here and there, that's probably humbucker, humbucker, 
both. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's in the corner. So I'm not going to narrate that because I literally don't know what's going on. First, we're going to go through the Fender Deluxe Reverb. Are we? Am I in tune? Let's check it. Well, we can hear that the Fender is a little bit cranky. I want it really clean and the Fender is being pushed a bit. That little thing there. So I'm going to go straight to the Riff Generator 740, which has a great clean channel. So we're going to do that. Uh, and here we go. Right here, I think. that a lot. By the way, if you don't like the Alder and you want it in blue and cooler, then just buy the new Martin Miller Signature 7-string Albinus AZ, which is pretty much that in mahogany with uh, blue. <laughs> Moving on, in the middle. That G-string is gone. So, of course, well... So, I just went to drop A. Why? Is this like in the metal thing? I don't think it is. The uh, One of the ideas on the AZ with a 7-string, I think, is that you would be able to double your A-string an octave lower for chords like this. I've never done this. You get the idea. Of course, when you're dropping it, you have to retune everything because it's a floating trim. So I'm going to stay here for now. Uh, moving on, I was here. We're going to go here. To do and then in the back so I 
actually a kick-ass sound. I love using seven strings for even pop productions or even like ballads and stuff because uh, that C and the D in this case uh, is beautiful because the highest or the, the lowest C and D is here. If you have something that needs those notes, on a seven string, you can actually get that beautiful oomph for size, not for heaviness, but for size. And I love doing that. So when you have it in this drop A and you're simply going low and you don't have a lot of gain like this. Instead of. So see the point of having it on the AZ for that. Moving on to second level of switchies. I don't know how to play this. I played seven string for years, but I'm lost now. That's the typical AZ sound. Very nice. Obviously, in context, I would use this with a compressor and some delay and some, I don't know, some reverb. I'm just turning things on here. But this is a review, so we're looking at it purely clean so you know what the sounds are. That's a really cool sound there for some effect treatment. And then in the back here, number for me, four for you, two, because I think weird. Very telly. Ha! <laughs> that was a D. And then different. It's a cool sound. So another reason to play an AZ 7 string is to not have to change position when you're soloing. Back to E, uh, back to B. Okay, so let's say I'm up here. Personally, for me, I try to stay away from the lower strings, intonation, blah, 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 blah. But if you have to throw a note in there and you don't want to actually jump in there, that's great, you know, for someone like Martin Miller. Say I'm playing an arpeggio. 
can quickly get the fifth note. Instead of having to having to go down there. You get the idea, or you're playing a pentatonic -y thing. Uh, now here. The only other way to play this would be... So yeah, you have that note down there. It doesn't always have to be massively metally something. We got all the positions. That was a pretty cool sound. And now we go through some amps. That was all clean. Let's go into the Achilles, which is a JTM, so it's going to be fizzly and blown up and all non-headroom. Because that's a bit very classic -y sound. So up here. <laughs> Too much bite. For the lower notes, you need an amp with more headroom. Low uh, notes need more wattage, meaning you want to push the amp more to make them loud, meaning that if an amp doesn't have a lot of headroom, those notes will distort in the power amp section. So that's why a lot of people playing lower tuned instruments are playing modelers because you don't have those limitations or of the power amps, or you play something like the Rev Behind me, I don't know how to point to it. The Ref 100P uh, or the Driftwood Darkest Nightmare, which I have right over there. That's a beast of an amp that I'm going to review and I'm going to use it in some of these videos. So let's go into, well, why not? Let's do Engel Fireball first. That's a 25 watt head and it's white and it's cool. <laughs> Is this guitar capable of doing metal? Absolutely. Does Ibanez have guitars tailored more towards the low end persuasion? Yes, if you get one that's an RGD, so it's all the way lower anyway, uh, a whole step, and then Fluence or something like this, like some of the instruments I'm going to review, they're tailored better for clarity down there. However, the AZ, of course, it's got humbuckers, it's low, it's a beautifully playing instrument, of course you can meddle with it. Is it 
tailor-made for that? I don't think it is. It's more of a solo, fusion, beautiful, clean, sparkly, but then you also have the low extension. But So if you're looking for something that's more versatile than a guitar tuned for metal, like the and the RGD, um, then this is better because it's more versatile, but it's not as tailored. You get the point. So that's the... Then we go into the riff 100p. <laughs> The Driftwood. Go back to the riff, see some leads, because that's really kind of where it's at. Prestige 7 string. I think it's a special kind of a tool for a special kind of guitar player. The 7 string guitars usually go towards the heavier genres, but if you want something more versatile, then I think this fits the bill. It's a prestige. It's absolutely wonderfully built. It plays beautifully. Would I play this as my main shred axe? Personally, I wouldn't because I wouldn't want to fight with a seven string neck. On the other hand, that is something that you get used to within a day or two. I mean, I would grab, if I don't need that, I would grab my normal AZ and I'm fine with it. But if you need the extension and you love your AZ and you love all the tones, but you wish sometimes, oh, I wish there was a B string. Well, then it's here. Everything else that we got to love and appreciate about the AZ line is here, but now with that string. So this video was kind of pointless because it's literally that. You make the choice, 
Is it metal enough for you? Does it need to be metal? Would you use that for fusion-y jazz stuff like I showed you expertly? I don't know, up to you. Uh, I did get paid for this video, which I have to disclose, and I happily disclose that I'm working with Ibanez, the company who sold me my very first guitar 30 years ago. So, <laughs> way to go on that. Um, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Leslie, for switching and sitting in a room there with uh, dogs that keep farting in a very small room, and she's probably dying because of that. So, haha. And... Um, I could even ask her what this is called and she would probably know because it's, you know, the Ibanez AZ. I think she can say AZ. But then again, it's not called the AZ. It's the AZ22, no, the AZ2402 7TFF. Here we go. Stupid name again. Thanks for watching. Links below, please use them. Animals at the end. You wanna come? Come? Come here? Okay, so, Noodle, come here, come here, come here, and sit, Noodle, sit, sit, okay, come, come here, come here, come here. Noodle, come, oh, off, come, yeah, come, come, Noodle, come, come here, come. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come, 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 come here, come, 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 come here, yeah, come. <laughs> I think that works. Wanna come?